Patrick, where does a movie start for you? That's a good question. Where does a movie start? Um, I think a movie starts with uh, just a sort of a genuine intrigue or interest in something or passion in something. Um, our film Wordplay, it's about the New York Times crossword puzzle. We love that puzzle. Um, we do it all the time. I grew up in kind of a puzzle family where we did jigsaw puzzles and played Scrabble and Boggle and things like that. So that just felt very, it felt like home to me. I mean, it really did. Um, and Will Shorts, who's the star of our film, is sort of the star of the crossword puzzle world, if you will. Um, so that felt like a very good fit. With IOUSA, our second film, that was, you know, my brother and my brother-in-law and a lot of my very good friends from Chicago are, they work in the bond trading business. They work at the Chicago Board of Trade. So I've been hearing about Alan Greenspan and I've been hearing about, the, you know, the, uh, the Federal Reserve and the national debt and interest rates and inflation and I've been hearing about all those things for a very, very long time from, from my friends and family. But I, you know, I, I, didn't, I didn't really have a clear understanding of any of that, frankly. <clears throat> so when the idea of making this film came up, it felt like a way to kind of catch up with my friends and my family and, and to be able to certainly rely on them for a lot of advice and help as we made the film and also to sort of make a movie about their world which we did um, and really, really enjoyed it. So th again, that felt like a good fit. And with, with If You Build It, <clears throat> um, really, I mean, the reason that film got made is that a very good friend of ours brought that idea to us. Um, our friend Neil Bear, who was a writer and, and showrunner at the show ER, and then he went on to become the head writer and showrunner at Law & Order SVU. Um, he's currently the showrunner of a show called Under the Dome, which is on CBS. Um, Neil's just incredibly successful. Um, he's a wonderful person and, and, and a very, very intelligent, very kind person. Um, he, Emily Pilatin, the star of If You Build It, had written a book that he loved. And he brought this idea to us, and, and Christine and I loved it too. Um, in fact, almost instantly this idea of you know creative problem solving and design and architecture take all that and put it into a high school see what happens like to us almost immediately we're like okay so this is kind of like like this old house that tv show which i loved um and the breakfast club it's like a mashup <laughs> of those two ideas so we're like well that that's cool that that could be really fun um and in a way, that's kind of what our movie's about, in a way. So I think, I think you know, I think that if you, can, if you can sort of see the movie before you make it, and what you see really makes sense, then you're probably about to, about to head down the, the right path.